This is the future. Years have passed, but still, I can't get this question out of my head. Why is this Warframe not meta even though it's super strong and can go against level cap enemies easily? Not to mention that it's very versatile then you can go with a team or even play solo if you just like to be challenged by a tiny bit. And when I say a tiny bit, I'm telling just a mere 0.0001%. Who is this Warframe you asked? I'm talking about Octavia or Octavia Prime. We all know the power of Octavia and if you asked a veteran or a long time player, then you will say that she is the ultimate reflect build. Hildren's elemental ward setup has no match for Octavia since she can reflect damage so high that even a level cap enemy will melt away easily. Well, she's not a tank like Hildren, but she got an ability called Mallet that reflects damage. Octavia throws a spherical music device in an arc toward the direction she aims. Upon impact, the device deploys into the mallet which hovers in place for a set duration. The mallet is an invulnerable hovering orb that continuously plays percussive music, attracting enemies inside to attack it while absorbing all enemy damage hitting its energy mass. Damage absorbed is accumulated and stored briefly before diminishing over time. Stored damage is converted into blast damage, multiplied by a percentage that is dependent on your power strength, and rhythmically dealt to all enemies within an area. Long story short, it's a duration based ability that cannot be destroyed and instead, destroys enemies as it grows and reflects the damage to them. The higher the damage of the enemies, the more damage it can reflect and Octavia will only need to wait and chill until the enemies are dead. She also got one of the best crowd control in the game in the name of Resonator. This is that ball that aggro enemies and with a wide range in your build, you can completely make all enemies dumb and they just follow the ball instead of touching your Warframe. While this is a good skill in general, honestly, Octavia doesn't need this since she can go invisible with her third ability and watch enemies die with Mallet. On the other hand, most Warframes take full advantage of this ability as like I have said, this is one of the best crowd control out there. Most of Warframes can put this in their build for maximum survivability. It was hell of an ability, but Digital Extremes indirectly nerf Resonator by reworking and buffing Eximus units. As you all know, all form of crowd control is irrelevant when Eximus units are with Overguard. First, you will need to pop off their Overguard to crowd control them but, nobody really cares about this much as killing one specialized enemy wouldn't be that difficult with the right setup in Warframe. And next. Octavia has this buffing ability called Metronome. This ability can give Octavia 4 buffs, Vivarchi which increases the movement speed after performing a jump, Nocturne that makes Octavia and her allies invisible after crouching to gain sync with the music, Opera gives multi-shot buff to guns when firing your weapon, and lastly, the Forte buff that gives melee bonus damage while synchronizing your melee attacks with your music, while inside the melodic aura. Octavia and her allies can perform specific actions and sync to the melodic music to gain these sync buffs that can be active simultaneously. Most of the time, we can see Octavia teabagging always just to maintain her invisibility. The thing is these buff is not just for Octavia but also for her allies as long as they can perform the moves and sync it with the beat. These buffs alone make Octavia great when it comes to team composition. She can be a great support if she wants and lastly, her fourth and final ability can also be a great support which increases the weapon damage of Octavia and her allies. However, it's kind of tricky as Octavia throws an amplifier device in an arc toward the direction she aims. Upon impact, the amplifier transforms the ground into a dance floor, encompassing the surrounding terrain in a field of sound sensors with a radius of 8, 10, 12, 14 meters for 30 seconds. While standing inside the amp field, Octavia and her allies gain a weapon damage buff with a minimum of 10%, 15%, 20%, 25% to a maximum of 125%, 150%, 175%, 200%, depending on the sound level in the environment. If we sum up all the abilities of Octavia, then we can say that she is a complete Warframe and most certainly a jack of all trades that can do almost every possible mission in the game. Like, every mission possible can be solo by Octavia because of her abilities but why do still people consider her as not a good frame to main? Is it because of her visual designs? Well, probably not as there are frames out there that don't have great skins but players always play them because of their usability. But why not Octavia then? So, these are just my personal opinion, 
and I would like to know your thoughts also in the comment section below. There are two reasons why players don't play Octavia that much in my opinion. One thing that really turns me off is the way you need to crouch most of the time to maintain her stealth, and you would need to get a song or compose one using your mandacord so you can easily sink into the beats and proc nocturne most of the time. However, you would also want a fast beat to maximize the damage of mallet as the damage reflect will be per tick and depends on the mandacord beats also. Eventually you will need to spam and teabag for your life to maintain your invisibility if you want mallet to be a super DPS. The invisibility is good, but other warframes can go stealth with one press of a button. Another thing is that, Octavia may have all the necessary tools to destroy everything in the game and even finish the game solo, and many consider her a good warframe but, she is not necessary. Like, if you are doing a team composition, Octavia will just literally go with mallet and destroy everything or, she will eventually do nothing as her mallet, her strongest skill to destroy enemies do need the enemies to actually hit the skill but you can't do that with a team as players will be nuking and gutting enemies before you can even set up mallet. Most of the time, you will see Octavia perform well in solo plays against level cap. Also, while she provides lots of buffs, these are mediocre buffs in my opinion. Ash has an augment right now that allows everyone to go invisible in one click and then provide critical chance buff. Also, Revenant got an augment that gives immortality. How can teabagging invisibility compete with these type of abilities? Not to mention that her other buffs are not that beneficial also to the team as it provides mediocre boost compared to warframes that specialize in speed or damage buffs. While I like Octavia, many would say that this is just a boring warframe that only shines in level cap and this proves that even a Warframe that is capable of such power is not safe to becoming mastery rank fodder when the community is not interested in playing the Warframe. So that's all about it and now, let's discuss more in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.